In this video, I'm going to give you 10 reasons in five minutes why you should be using biochar on your property. As homesteaders and gardeners, we all want to grow more food. And one of the best ways that we can go about doing that is to enhance your soil health. Biochar, when it's made properly, it's basically just a carbonized shell. When biochar is first created, it's hydrophobic, meaning it has properties that are going to repel water. But once those properties are broken down and removed, it becomes hydrophilic, meaning it will absorb water. It will also absorb everything else around it. That's a really good thing for your soil because it's going to absorb not only water, but nutrients as well. That water holding capability is pretty remarkable, but I will say that not all the studies are in alignment with regard to the numbers. But the one thing that they all do agree upon is that it dramatically increases the ability of your soil once biochar has been added to retain moisture and hold water. Biochar will also absorb all the micro and macronutrients within your soil. This now makes that the perfect home for all of the bacteria and the fungi, all of that microbial population to move into that char, into those porous spaces, and use that as a home base to symbiotically interact with the plants that we're trying to grow. It is important to note, however, that biochar should be preloaded or inoculated prior to adding to your soil as a direct soil amendment. One of the best and most passive ways of inoculating your biochar is by directly adding it to your compost and allowing the passage of time to draw in all of that fertility and all of those nutrients before adding it directly to your soil. The first ethic of permaculture is care of the earth. And one of the very cool ways we can care for the earth by using biochar is through carbon sequestration. So if I was to take this piece of organic material and do nothing with it and just allow it to naturally over time decompose, a good portion of its mass would wind up into the atmosphere as CO2. The other portion of its mass would be organic material that would end up in the soil that would be lost over time just due to degradation, weather effects, and other factors. But if I were to take and turn this into this, this is now a fully carbonized piece of material. This carbon has been sequestered and once put into the soil could potentially last for centuries and possibly thousands of years. Biochar is a very sustainable waste management practice because there's always going to be an unlimited supply of free material. This biomass is essentially everywhere. Biochar is also very effective when used as an odor absorber. You're really only limited by your imagination. And we use it a couple of different ways with our livestock here on our property. We use it not only in our bedding areas for our livestock, but also here too, we use it in our deep mulch system that we have in our hog enclosure. This raw charcoal is added directly in front of their feeder. And just by the nature of them traveling back and forth across this, they're going to crush this down to an appropriate size. It winds up being swept over into this deep mulch where it goes to dramatically reducing the amount of odor that comes out of this. Another benefit to this is the hydrophobic properties are going to begin to lessen and start to absorb all of the nutrient from the urine and the feces contained within this deep mulch. I have created a video talking about how it is that I've trained these pigs. I'll link in the description. Another really great use for biochar is as a feed additive. We give it to our pigs, we give it to our chickens and cows when they're on grain at a rate of no more than 1% by volume. So we'll crush it down and incorporate it into their feed and then they will ingest it. It's said to be good for their gut biome by locking up and removing toxins as well as reducing the amount of methane and other emissions. Another real beneficial use of biochar is in water purification. I like using it in my livestock watering troughs where it serves multiple functions. First, it just provides a clean water source for the animals to drink. And secondly, they get to passively ingest some of that, which is good for their overall gut biome. Just by the nature of the char sitting in the water, the hydrophobic properties are going to begin to lessen and eventually break down. It's then going to be easier for that char to absorb and take in all the microorganisms, micronutrients, and if there's any toxins in the water, it will also draw those in and lock them up. Let me show you some char from a couple of days ago that I added to one of my water troughs that was completely covered in algae.
Biochar has been used for thousands of years and it has more uses than what I've just shared with you. But I hope this video has helped to spawn some ideas of your own on how biochar might be used on your own property. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.